Maybe you've heard about leptin resistance. Well, let's talk about 10 causes and some of the symptoms for leptin resistance as well. Okay, number one as a cause is the polyunsaturated fatty acids, causing a lot of inflammation in the body. Also, excessive carbohydrate intake will make that leptin resistance worse, more of that fat gain, of course, especially if you're eating very sugary foods in the wrong season and your body can't metabolize those sugars because of lack of natural sunlight exposure. Okay, and number two, another cause of leptin resistance is alcohol. So unfortunately, too much alcohol consumption is going to further make that leptin resistance worse. Number three, problems with insulin. And insulin resistance is something that is usually happening after leptin resistance. And the two are very much linked to one another. If you have difficulty balancing your blood sugar levels, it could be related back to that leptin resistance and how that is affecting your insulin. Okay, number four on the list, another cause of leptin resistance lack of natural sunlight exposure. It's so important and this is something that I talk a lot about in most of my videos, getting outside under natural light, really, really important. Even if you can't see the sun, it is there in the daytime, you've got to get natural light exposure. Okay, number five on the list is not being grounded. So this is really important as well. In order to fix our circadian rhythms and our connection of our own body with our surroundings, with the environment, with mother nature, we've got to make sure that we get grounded to pull those electrons, which are very anti-inflammatory, into our body every single day. And that will help to counteract that inflammation, helping with that leptin resistance. Okay, number six on the list is our cold and hot exposure, and maybe not being cold or hot adapted. So cold exposure really does significantly help with our leptin reception, our leptin receptors. This is really important. And being hot as well with those heat shock proteins can help with our body to help to manage that our body is actually adapting to those stresses of those extremes of temperature, really important for fixing all of our hormones internally. Okay, number seven on the list is another cause, blue light and EMF exposure. So those electromagnetic fields from all of our devices that we're on, on our electronics all day, our Wi-Fi signal, this is something that really has a negative effect on our circadian rhythms, on our body's ability to read our environment. And that light environment really does help to balance our hormones, what we're doing is we're doing it all wrong. We have too much artificial light exposure in our environments and that's offsetting how our brain chemistry is working and actually reading that leptin signaling. Okay, number eight on the list is stress. We know that stress or cortisol levels are very much tied to what happens with our hormones, especially for that leptin resistance as well. Number nine on the list, another cause is chronic inflammation, something that we talked about. And that goes along with number 10 on the list, which is leaky gut syndrome. So when your gut is not healthy, this will further exasperate that leptin resistance problem. Okay, now going through, how do you know if you have leptin resistance in the first place? Let's go really quickly through 10 different symptoms of having that leptin resistance. Okay, number one, you crave carbs. Number two, you're hungry all the time. Your leptin signaling is messed up in the brain. You're not getting that signal to say to stop eating. And that's why you've got that resistance. You're hungry all the time. Number three, you could gain weight and you're overweight now, especially in the belly fat area. You could be yo-yo dieting. You're always trying to get that extra weight off, but it's related back to that inflammation, your hormones and that leptin resistance. Number four, now this can go the other way with hyperthyroidism and an excessive amount of weight loss with things like Graves disease related back to that leaky gut and of course that autoimmunity so you could be losing weight as well when you've got that leptin resistance okay number five poor sleep so this is something that again if you're not sleeping properly you're not going to have that proper leptin secretion when you are sleeping and your brain reading all of your hormones as you sleep your thyroid hormone is related to your sleep as well number six is being stressed out and irritable all the time because of that hormonal imbalance with your leptin. Number seven, low energy. Number eight, chronic pain and inflammation in the body. Another symptom, number nine, is chronic headaches. And the last one, number 10, metabolic syndrome. So we know that when we've got that chronic inflammation, maybe our liver isn't happy and we've got you know high LDL cholesterol, low HDL cholesterol, high triglycerides, our liver's not happy, we've got that high cholesterol, related back now to that hormonal imbalance and that leptin resistance. Now for more tips on how to fix that leptin resistance, please check out my video, five tips to fix leptin resistance. I'll see you there.